hi everyone welcome back once again in my another tutorial today the topic is i will calculate the spin only magnetic moments actually this is a little bit advanced levels tutorial for magnetism and magnetic uh, material related topics so if you are really interested about magnet and magnetic phenomena you will feel interest and to be honest this is a little bit advanced levels topic so i don't know how you can enjoy if you really interested to calculate how to uh, calculate this magnetic moment uh, this tutorial will help you 100 out of 100 believe me because um, yeah i see many people don't uh, know how to calculate this magnetic moment this tutorial will cover how to do that to calculate the magnetic moment especially spin on spin on a magnetic moment there is a special formula this is so called mu of s mu means magnetic moment s is denoted this magnetic moments related to spin so called spin only magnetic moment is equals to square root n times n plus 2 where n is equal to n equals number of number of unpaired electron that means if you know the number of unpaired electron of any element or any kind of ions you can calculate a uh, magnetic moment easily it's not a big problem for example first example is let's say iron atoms fe right fe has 26 electron let us consider fe ion not electron fe ion 3 plus ion so how many electron it has in the outermost orbital it has 3d5 that means outermost orbital is occupied by the 5 electron question is how many unpaired electron it has 3d5 right this is very much simple you know d orbital is uh, divided by 5 um, sub shell 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 that means this d orbital this 5 electron d orbital this 5 electron will be um, equally distributed in these boxes so this is one electron this is second electron this is third electron this is fourth electron this is five electron see one two three four five this five electron is here that means it has total five unpaired electron unpaired means this is single electron there is no double electron if it is another electron it will not be unpaired electron so i would like to say total number of unpaired electron for fe3 plus is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so number of number of unpaired electron is equal to 5 so i can say n is equal to 5 see i can say um, from here number of unpaired electron n is equal to 5 what is the formula for here mu s is equal to n into n plus 2 i can write it here spin only magnetic moment is equal to 5 times 5 plus 2 i am using just simple this formula what is equivalent to square root 35 hmm. If you use the calculator you can say square root 35 is equal to 5.91 5.91 and this is Bohr magneton bm this is the answer that means fe3 plus ion has magnetic moments that is equal to 5.91 Bohr magneton and this is the answer for example i am going to the second calculation what is the second calculation second example this is the first example this is the second example for example say nickel oxidation is oxid oxidation state of nickel is 2 plus right so what is the outermost orbital of nickel you have to know by you you can use by hund rules um, uh, to calculate the outermost orbital nickel has 3d8 you can calculate this 3d8 by using the hund rules i will make another tutorial how to calculate this outermost orbital electrons you can uh, find it in my channel so it has outermost orbital electron has 3d8 question is how many unpaired electron has n is equal to what you can uh, calculate unpaired electron by using this this system see this eight electron belongs to d orbital so we know d orbital is subdivided by five d orbital one two three four five it has total eight electron fill up one by one one electron two electron three electron four electron and then five electron but it has total eight then whenever 
all subshell is filled come back to the previous one and make it pair this is six electron this is seven electron and this is eight electron look at here this subshell is pair electron because it has two electron this subshell also paired electron this subshell also pair electron because it has two electron two electron two electron so all of them are pair electron we can eliminate them from our calculation <laughs> how many pair unpaired electron is this is unpaired electron and this is unpaired electron so number of number of unpaired electron in this case n is equal to 2 c 1 and 1 is equal to 2 so you know how to calculate this number of unpaired electron now you can calculate the <coughs> bohr magneton sorry not bohr magneton spin only magneton uh, magnetic moment mu s is equal to square root over n into n plus 2 we calculate from here that number of unpaired electrons are n is equal to 2 just replace this n by 2 e square root over 2 times 2 times 2 how many 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 4 times 2 is equal to 8 e square root 8 right e square root 8 and we know e square root 8 is equal to how much let use the calculator i cannot remember 2.82 2.82 bore magneton that means nickel 2 plus ions has magnetic moment spin only magnetic moment that is equivalent to 2.82 bore magneton this is the second example this is first example this is second example this is for iron oxidation state 3 plus ions nickel oxidation state 2 plus ions let's go to the another example third example all right i can make a separation here sorry third example third example for example chromium chromium 3 plus cr 3 plus if you look at the periodic table or if you use the hund rules you can say chromium has 3d3 outermost orbital outermost electron 3d3 that means d orbital is occupied by the three electron from this 3d3 we can calculate the number of unpaired electron very easily as i told you before now that d orbital is subdivided by a five subshell one two three four five it has total three electron first electron from first subshell in first subshell second electron in second subshell third electron is third subshell and this subshell are empty because there is no more electron so what are the number of unpaired electron one two three number of unpaired electron n is equal to 3 i can calculate the magnetic moment from here easily mu of s is equal to square root over 3 n times n plus 2 that means square root over number of unpaired electron is equal to 3 3 times 3 plus 2 which is equals to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 5 times 3 times square root over 30, uh, 15 15 and square root 15 is equal to I can see from my calculator square root 15 is equal to 3.87 3.87 Bohr magneton and this is the third example if I go the fourth example number of four you can see I can give you a, a little bit bigger ions and that is dy i don't know what is the name of this dy but it's atomic number 66 if you look at the periodic table dy has three oxidation state three plus oxidation state and its outermost orbital is occupied by 4f9 electron that means its orbital outermost orbital is has 4f f orbital you know f orbital is subdivided by seven sub shell look at here d orbital is subdivided by five subshell and f orbital is subdivided by seven subshell you know this is the rules from the chemistry one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven f orbital it is divided by the seven subshell so we have total nine electron fill one by one in each subshell three four five six seven come back to the previous one eight and then nine 
see first two subshell has pair electron that means it has two electron one two that means it is pair electron it has one two that means it is pair electron so we can eliminate this two one how many unpaired electron here one two three four five so unpaired electron unpaired electron is equal to five here total number of five that means n is equal to five so i can calculate the um, spin only magnetic moment so called mu s is equal to five times 5 plus 2 which is equals to how much square over 35 and uh, 35 is equals to 5.9 on Bohr magneton you see I can easily calculate the total amount of magnetic moment from here this is for iron 3 plus this is for nickel 2 plus and this is for chromium 3 plus it is very easy to calculate just you have to calculate the number of unpaired electron by using this uh, d orbital or f orbital then you can using uh, then you can calculate the magnetic moment by using this cal uh, equation n is equal to sorry mu s is equal to square root over n times n plus 2 I hope you get help from my tutorial and if you have any question related to know something related to these topics you can ask me and if you have any suggestion to know something else you can write me in the comment section. Thank you for watching my videos and hope you enjoy and if you are not subscriber please subscribe my channel now to get the new videos in next week. See you next week. Bye bye.